Queen's Gambit declined, Harwitz, two knights, blockade line. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was a well-fought middle game that black got the better of. The end game was sloppy, but white got the better of it. Opening with the queen's pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. And c3 develops the knight to fight for the e4 square and to control d5. As it occupies space in the center, attacks the c4 pawn, and aids in maintaining control of the e4 square. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. b7 develops the bishop, supports the knight on f6 and prepares castling. bf4 develops the bishop toward the center and controls the e5 square. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. e3 allows the light squared bishop to develop and supports the d4 pawn. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. This exchange is fair. Recaptures. It is the last book move. That is a logical response. It is quite good. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. It is ideal. This wastes a chance to relocate a piece to safety. It is incorrect. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. Among the best actions. It is quite good. The pawn is now suitably protected. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to move a rook to safety. It is a mistake. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. The pawn is now in a safe position. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is ideal. This removes a pawn that was threatening to win material. This is the only good move. This threatens to win a knight. This stops the opponent from being able to create a passed pawn. It is a great move. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is ideal. A pawn kicks the opposing rook, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. A wise decision. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. It's all right. That's good. Very precise. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. It is incorrect. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. So, the attacked pawn is protected. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This wastes a chance to center a knight and give it more power over squares. It is incorrect. A powerful play. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. It's all right. That's good. There is a more effective technique to advance a rook from its beginning square than this. 
It is incorrect. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. There was only one good move in that position. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is a mistake. This misses a fantastic but elusive move. That falls flat. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. This poses a threat to an open file and a rook. It is ideal. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. This threatens to kick a knight. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is a great move. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This ignores an opportunity to win a knight. It is a miss. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to fork pieces. It is excellent. Thus, a pawn is lost. It is incorrect. This wins a pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This prevents an assault on a rook that might have been taken. It is ideal. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is ideal. When the queen retreats, this attack wins a tempo. It is ideal. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This exposes a knight assault. It is ideal. This protects the attack knight. This is the only good move. It is best. This is a missed chance to use a knight to take an outpost. It is incorrect. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. The knight is now located at an outpost, a safe area inside the enemy's territory. It is ideal. This is how you attract a knight. It is ideal. Takes back. This is the start of the end game and white is losing. It is excellent. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. A powerful play. It is quite good. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. It's alright. That's good. This loses material. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a rook while also checking the king. It is a blunder. This exposes an attack on a rook while also checking the king. This is the only move that works. This was a game-changing move, white is no longer in a losing position. It is a great move. A knight who checked the king is now captured. It is ideal. The rook was a freebie. It is ideal. This protects the bishop who was attacked. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This loses a pawn. This allows the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is an inaccuracy. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is ideal. This disregards a superior strategy for dodging the opposing pawn's check. It is incorrect. A passed pawn is pushed by this. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. This prevents the opponent from being able to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is good. This is a missed chance to claim a free pawn. It is incorrect. There was only one good move there. 
This misses a better way to evade the check from the opposing pawn. It is a mistake. This misses the chance to claim a free pawn. That falls flat. This pushes a passed pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This is winning stuff. It is ideal. This steps away from the checking pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is winning stuff. It is ideal. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is good. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was a well-fought middle game that black got the better of. The end game was sloppy, but white got the better of it. 